Hello, YouTube. Um, this is the only place I could think of to post this. I haven't found anything that I could understand in simple, well, not really simple, but emotionally simple terms. Um, and as I, as the video goes on, you'll see what I mean by that. Um, start off with an introduction. My name is Walker Burgess. I was born with a genetic disorder called Kleinfelter Syndrome. Uh, um, I was born with an extra female chromosome. Uh, my chromosomal uh, coding would be uh, classified double XY. Now, The problem with most XXY males is that our intelligence is boosted, like way up here, but our emotional stability is usually way down here. A few years ago, I did what most reckless young people will do, and I experimented with a few drugs. Nothing along the lines of heroin, meth, crack, cocaine, anything like that, but I did touch hallucinogens. And mostly, all I do now is pot. Um, because it helps me with my depression, and it's the only thing that now doesn't make me trip out. Um, due to some of my experimentation, I personally believe I may have set back my emotional stability even further. And, um, now I can't take any depressants because anything that responds to my serotonin uh, receptors will make me start hallucinating. And I don't know of any antidepressants that respond to strictly to dopamine receptors. Uh, that's my main reason for cannabis usage. Um, <clears throat> I would like to know if anyone is aware of any way I might be able to help fix myself. Um, I'm currently seeing a therapist before anyone suggests that, but I'm, I'm about dead set on wanting to see a neurologist to see if maybe I hadn't damaged my brain because of what I did. I can articulate certain things very well especially if it's intellectual I'm sorry I do speak with my hands it's gonna happen get used to it um but when it comes to my personal how I'm feeling inside Finding words doesn't work for me. Um, and I think I'm not certain. But I do think I may have a form of social autism um, based on some of my emotional responses. Um, I do have a problem connecting to people about anything really other than cannabis or video games or Magic the Gathering or music. Um, or just about any nerdy topic you could think of. But other than that, 
I mean, those those are these fantasies feel more real to me than life does. And it's hard for me to talk to people because I feel like that. Does that make sense to anyone out there? It's like, personally, this world is alien to me. And people on the whole scare the shit out of me. And mostly it's the capacity for evil that some people have. Specifically, child molesters, rapists, murderers, thieves, muggers. I mean, there's a difference between thieves and Robin Hood thieves. The Robin Hood thieves are awesome. I, I don't got a problem with them. But it's just... In video games, when you get hurt, you can always heal. You can always drink a potion. You'll be fine. The real world doesn't work so well. And um, I do believe I have a fragile mind. Um, obviously, I'm talking to a bunch of people who probably won't respond to this, but I'm hoping in blind faith that maybe someone has uh, some kind of inchling of an idea of what might help me. Um, anyway, spread this around to your friends if you can. Uh, see who's knowledgeable in any of the fields necessary to pertain to what I've mentioned in this video and please just I'm tired of wondering what the fuck is wrong with me I need help and I understand that a therapist takes time but I've been wondering this since I was 12 years old. I've been having this disconnection from reality since I was seven. I don't know what is wrong with me, and it scares me. And it, I mean, my own mind torments me. And some people will say, just don't think about it. It's not that simple. Not for me. My brain can overpower me. It's done it before. So please, someone, give me a little help here. Thanks for your time.